A Step into the Past Volume 23 Chapter 2 Book 23 Chapter 02, Unfinished Love Just as he left Feng Fei's bedroom, he was intercepted by a subordinate who made the following report, Zhang Chuan was ambushed outside the villa, suffering heavy injuries and is barely alive. Although Xiang Xiaolong knows that Xiao Yuan is behind this incident, he cannot choose not to attend to him. Outside Zhang Quan's room, he ran into his, Zhang Chuan, trusted follower Kun Shan. This scoundrel was enraged, it must be the doing of Zhang Sun Long. Lin Xi is a lawless place, full of outrageous hooligans calling the shots. Xiang Xiaolong is secretly glad that they are mistaken, saving him the trouble to mislead them. He questioned in a low voice, how are his injuries? Kun Shan responded, he received a few punches to his head and face. Now, his eyes are puffy and he can barely see while the corner of his lips is bruised and bleeding. It is upsetting to see him in such a condition. Completing his answer, he walked away, sighing. Stepping into the room, Xiang Xiaolong was amazed to see Dong Shuzhen and two maids tending to Zhang Quan's wounds. As per Kun Shan's description, Zhang Quan's head is swollen like a pig's head. It would be impossible for him to face the public in the near future. This is the vicious strategy employed by Xiao Yuetan, intentionally causing Zhang Chuan to lose his usefulness to Liu Biuwei, indirectly forcing Liu Biuwei to rely on Xiang Xiaolong instead. Sitting by Zhang Quan's bedside, Dong Shuzhen gave Xiang Xiaolong a sad look and sighed, These people are really ruthless. Look. They have beaten assistant manager to such a sorry state. Zhang Chuan groaned, Is it Brother Shen? Recalling the fact that this gorgeous Dong Shuzhen did spend a few nights with this ruffian, Xiang Xiaolong's heart is brimming with hatred. He faced Dong Shuzhen and demanded in an uncouth manner, All of you need to leave the room for a while. I need to talk to Brother Zhang. An annoyed Dong Shuzhen frowned with her brows knitted together. After dismissing her two maids, she firmly insisted, What secrets are there that Shuzhen has to be kept in the dark about? With much difficulty, Zhang Chuan begged, Second mistress, please excuse yourself for a short while. Dong Shuzhen was taken aback and left unhappily. It is now Xiang Xiaolong's turn to take Dong Shuzhen's seat. Lowering his head, he asked in a soft voice, Brother Zhang, how are you doing? His mouth swollen like a pig's lips, Zhang Chuan can only mumble his words vaguely, My body is fine as they only hit my head, forcing me to tell them why did I visit my employer. Of course I refused to tell them anything. I. My biggest loss is the sum of money from my employer, which they robbed. The money is actually meant for you. This clearly demonstrates the brilliance of Xiao Yuetan's stratagem. Not only did Zhang Chuan fail to come up with the money to bribe Xiang Xiaolong, he cannot go back to see Liu Biuwei. Xiang Xiaolong probed, who did brother Zhang went to visit? Zhang Chuan cautioned, I cannot tell you yet. I. I did not anticipate Zhang Sun Long's involvement. Presently. Every one of our troop member is placed under close supervision by his cronies. Xiang Xiaolong is not in mood to chat further and stood up, advising, Brother Zhang, please have a good rest. Pulling his sleeve to restrain him, Zhang Chuan anxiously beseeched, No matter what, you must help me. I will definitely get the money for you as soon as possible. Xiang Xiaolong questioned, What can I do for Brother Zhang? Zhang Chuan briefed, try to become Feng Fei's confidant and find out what is the relationship between Lord Longyang and herself. Xiang Xiaolong bitterly laughed, if you were Feng Fei and I am now your confidant, would you tell me your life-changing secrets? Zhang Chuan replied after much agony, Feng Fei trusts no one but herself, and that includes Lord Longyang. Moreover, the King of Wei harbors designs on Feng Fei so at the end of the day, she can only rely on you. Do you understand? Xiang Xiaolong was momentarily shaken before he nodded, fine. I shall see what I can do about it. But until I receive my money, Brother Zhang can forget about my collaboration. Pushing his hand away, he walked out of the room all by himself. 
Dong Shuzhen was waiting by the door and saw him leaving the room. Dragging him to a pavilion in the garden, she lamented, Are you still upset with me? Xiang Xiaolong denied, Your lowly servant dare not. No matter how second mistress tries to scam me or distrusts me, I, a lowly manager, can only submissively follow your commands. With AAAPUCI, Dong Shuzhen giggled, Look at your angry countenance. Shuzhen begs your pardon, okay? I. I really do not know how to gain your affections. Are you someone who prefer males and not females? Xiang Xiaolong bitterly laughed, is every acquaintance of Lord Longyang considered a gay man? Pressing her entire body onto Xiang Xiaolong and using her exquisite hands to entangle his neck, Dong Shuzhen smiled, there is no use hiding it. Witnessing his coquettish expression when he stares at you and the excitement in his eyes, I am certain that you are his male lover. Unless you are not his partner, he would not react in such a fashion. Now, Shuzhen's only hope is that besides men, you are also into women. Xiang Xiaolong was stupefied, thinking that he has reached a dead end and he could never redeem himself from this wrongful grievance. Exerting some strength to give her but a playful slap, he helplessly pleaded, You can continue to evaluate me along those lines. Second mistress, can you please release me back to my room for a rest? Dong Shuzhen exaggeratedly cried out in pain and gave him a bear hug. Biting his ear, she hinted, If you are into other forms of deviant 5VX, Shuzhen is willing to play along. Xiang Xiaolong grabbed her aromatic shoulders and pushed her slightly away before declaring in an official tone, your lowly servant has to pass up second mistress's kind intentions. Nonetheless, there is something you still do not comprehend, even if you and Xiao Chen do not sleep with me, I, Shen Liang, would make suitable arrangements for you two and no one will have to end up as a concubine or mistress of the rich and powerful. If there is any falsehood in my words, may I, Shen Liang, die a horrible death. Dong Shuzhen calmed down and hazily eyed him with suspicion for a while. She softly quizzed, what is in it for you? Are you aware that one wrong move can result in death and disaster? If Feng Fei gets to know that you are out to spoil her plans, she will be the first to come after you. Xiang Xiaolong swore, you can label me a fool, an ID1OT or whatever you desire but I have committed myself to make this a reality. All I need is your full obedience and I will definitely come to a solution. Wriggling her body sensually, Dong Shuzhen cajoled, Are we not obedient? Xiang Xiaolong counseled, Your obedience has gone overboard and your obedience is not only limited to me but also towards Zhang Chuan, S.A. Li and whoever that is useful to you. This is not the obedience I am looking for. Please go back and give it some thought but time is not on your side. We must make our move immediately after the performance. If you miss the boat, do not blame me for not offering you salvation. Her entire body trembling, Dong Shuzhen leaned into his bosom, flustering, Shen Liang Ah. I am at a complete loss after hearing your words. Can you please tell me clearly what plans do you have for Shuzhen? Xiang Xiaolong lovingly kissed her charming face and sincerely revealed, if the two of you are still unwilling to place complete trust and share all your information with me, there is a limit to how much I can assist you. My plan is to promote you to become another famous courtesan to continue Feng Fei's legacy, allowing her to retire peacefully and living the life she wants to live. A frightened Dong Shuzhen pitifully reminded, this would be an ideal arrangement but how is it possible? Feng Fei regards me as her enemy and would never give her consent. Even if she somehow agrees, it would require the approval of everyone in the troop. This is an impossible task. Xiang Xiaolong was full of conviction, I will settle Feng Fei's side. But whether can you eventually become another famous courtesan comparable to Feng Fei will have to depend on your own abilities. Dong Shuzhen was shocked, what abilities? Xiang Xiaolong articulated. I will convince Feng Fei to allow you to play the role of the main character in one of the song and dance routines. As long as you do a good job, I can sing your praises in front of Lord Longyang and other influential figures, persuading them to invite you to perform at their official banquets. Ha! Huh. What do you think will happen next? 
Dong Shuzhen jolted once and suddenly moved away from him. With a pair of lovely eyes shining with never-seen-before brilliance, she pondered in a throbbing voice, Can you really convince Feng Fei? Stretching his hand out and lifting her pretty head, Xiang Xiaolong unconsciously gave her a deep kiss on her lips. Only until she started panting did he release her, promising, Give me three days and I will get Feng Fei to give you her consent personally. However, Xiao Chen and you must give up all your devious plans. Right now, I need you to go to bed obediently. Her body turning limp from his kissing and her pupils dilated, Dong Shuzhen pestered, Can I spend the night with you? Shuzhen is feeling so H0RNY from your provocation. Xiang Xiaolong is feeling desperate too, secretly cursing himself for stirring her flames of passion. Strengthening his will, he turned her 5EXY body around and pushed her for 10 over steps, reaching the corridor leading to her bedroom, laughing, Didn't you mention I am into males? Go and look for Xiao Chen and tell her about this good news. You must remember not to let a third person know about this plan, otherwise, it will not come true. Finishing, he quickly fled back to his room. Before he could have his breakfast the next morning, a subordinate came to report that Xie Ziwan is looking for him. Xiang Xiaolong was alarmed, for his greatest fear is Shan Rou telling him about their relationship. If this was the case, it would be really awkward to see him. Fortunately, Xie Ziwan is still as friendly as ever when Xiang Xiaolong came to meet him in the front sitting hall. After getting him to dismiss the serving maids, Xie Ziwan excitedly expounded, Brother Shen is superb. Not only did Wifey not give me a hard time last night, she gave me permission to befriend you. She mentioned that with you looking after me, it is all right even if I go out and have a bit of fun. Ah! Brother Shen is truly my best friend and savior. Xiang Xiaolong groaned inwardly, knowing that Shan Ro still harbor feelings for himself, resulting in this decision which made Xie Ziwan deliriously happy. Brother Xie need not attend morning court today. Xiang Xiaolong was curious. Xie Ziwan answered, Our great king caught a cold last night so today's court session has been adjourned. Hey! Is Brother Shen available tonight? Noticing that he is as joyful as a dog without a lease, Xiang Xiaolong cautioned, You better be careful for your significant other could be testing you. Slapping his chest as a sign of guarantee, Xie Ziwan swore, My wifey is a woman of her words and will not lie to me. She wants to invite Brother Shen to our humble abode tonight for dinner before allowing us to go out and have fun, giving little brother, me, an opportunity to play a good host. Ha! Huh. Xiang Xiaolong bitterly laughed, you looked as if you can't wait for tonight. Without the slightest trace of guilt, Xie Ziwan validated, of course. Only when lying in the arms of an unknown lady and breathing in her womanly scent can my creative brain juices start flowing. I. You have no idea how much pressure the great king is exerting on me. If I do not come up with the lyrics for Soft Boned Beauty's congratulatory birthday song, I will be in hot soup. Realizing the genuine motivation behind it all, Xiang Xiaolong became agitated, over the past two days, did you attend Lan Ganga Yuan's rehearsal? With a pained expression, Xie Ziwan grieved, without an excellent composition, I do not dare to face her. I ran into her lover Chi Yu in the palace yesterday and was at the receiving end of his sarcasms and insults. Fortunately, I was in a good mood or else I would teach him a lesson or two. As if he suddenly recalled the matter, he rapidly inquired, What is going on between you and Zhang Sun Long? After Xiang Xiaolong cut the story short and explained the chain of events, Xie Ziwan groaned, This is bad. Yesterday, he sent someone to probe about our relationship. Not suspecting anything amiss, I truthfully mentioned that we are newly acquainted. Oh! I better speak with him personally. If he is still adamant, I will get the second prince to intervene. That will surely force him to yield. Wanting to keep things simple, Xiang Xiaolong assured, it is not wise to blow up the matter and brother Xie need not intercede. Even if things go out of hand, I will be able to handle it. Xie Ziwan was suspicious, 
Does Brother Shen knows about Zhang Sun Long's incredible influence in Lin Xiai? He is more powerful than a marquis and now that he has suffered at the hands of Brother Shen, he would not give up his quest for revenge so easily. Xiang Xiao Long promised, relax. If I do require Brother Xie's assistance, I would not refrain from asking for it. Xie Ziwan affirmed, in the future, feel free to confide your problems in me. I have to rush back to my official ministry for work, shall I pick you up tonight? Xiang Xiaolong has nothing to say about that and nodded his head in agreement. As Xie Ziwan rose with delight, out of a sudden, the sentry announced, First mistress is here. Xie Ziwan had a big shock and welcomed her respectfully with Xiang Xiaolong. Clothed in an ordinary yellow dress adorned with white flowers and decked with a cotton singlet on the outside, Feng Fei lightly stepped into the hall, escorted by a bevy of maids. Xie Ziwan's eyes started to glow at the sight of her elegance and captivating beauty. After giving Xiang Xiaolong a vicious glare, Feng Fei knitted her brows and frowned at Xie Ziwan, what is the matter with official Xie? It is normal for someone to pass by without entering, but now that official Xie has passed by and entered, you did not even say hi to Feng Fei? Is Feng Fei someone unworthy of official's attention? Xie Ziwan is justly worth his weight in gold, prostrating himself to the floor without a moment's hesitation, he narrated, Miss Feng has wronged me. Ever since I first laid my eyes on Mistress during the palace banquet, my soul has been hooked away by Mistress's charisma. Only today did I finally reclaim my soul and thus, dare not pay another visit to Mistress. Feng Fei and the maids could not hold back their laughter. Feeling like a child playing games, Xiang Xiaolong put an arm over Xie Ziwan's shoulder and used the other hand to cover his eyes, pushing him towards the main gate. Towards Feng Fei, he laughed, your servant, I, had better escort official Xie out. Feng Fei was laughing vigorously, causing Xiang Xiaolong to quickly look away, afraid that he would lose his soul like Xie Ziwan. Pushing Xie Ziwan out of the villa, he removed his hand covering his eyes. Xie Ziwan exhaled a breath, such a pristine treasure, such a rare encounter. No wonder Zhang Sun Long is going all out to obtain her. Xiang Xiaolong mused, Brother Xie is interested as well. Xie Ziwan solemnly state, You may not believe my words but every time I reached home, I would cleanly forget about all my external liaisons. Xiang Xiaolong was gratified and commended, How wonderful! I finally got it. Brother Xie chose to fool around because it is your unique way of getting inspiration to compose music and write lyrics. Xie Ziwan sighed, Only Brother Shen knows me. After sending Xie Ziwan off, Xiang Xiaolong found Feng Fei waiting in the hall for him to have breakfast together, resembling a wife anticipating to serve her husband, sending chills down his spine. Dismissing Xiao Ping'er, the beauty interrogated, when you are around, Xie Ziwan seems like a totally different person and appears to be in great spirits. Why is he looking for you? Xiang Xiaolong intentionally hid the truth from her, it is boy's stuff. It is better for mistress to be unaware of it. Feng Fei loudly wailed, you are becoming more and more insolent. Don't you forget that I can be nasty too. Xiang Xiaolong smiled, please be appeased my mistress. We are simply going to have some fun at a brothel tonight. Feng Fei was astounded, are all men born cheap and low class? We have top rated beauties right here and yet you are paying money for those normal looking girls. Xiang Xiaolong was startled, is mistress implying that your servant, I, can kiss you any old how? Feng Fei was annoyed, how dare you speak like this? Xiang Xiaolong was greatly amused, mistress must not forget that it was you who said that you are being forced. Feng Fei was so angry she nearly wanted to box him but instead calmed herself down, sighing, looks like I am the one who has lost my soul to you. Whenever you want me to be happy, Feng Fei must be happy. When you want me to be angry, Feng Fei must be angry. Can you please tell Feng Fei once and for all, what do you want me to do? Xiang Xiaolong gently remarked, Of course I want to you obediently listen to my instructions, allowing me to accomplish my dream. Resuming her icy demeanor, 
Feng Fei stared at him for a second before softly asking, Speak. In an official tone, Xiang Shaolong enunciated, My dream is to allow everyone in this troop to realize their wishes and ambitions. Feng Fei sighed, I am beginning to believe your sincerity but my question is, what makes you think that you, Shen Le Yang, has the ability to achieve all these? It is not as simple as getting my consent for this issue involves several other parties. Xiang Shaolong plainly state, the most crucial factor lies with mistress's approval. I will take care of the other matters. Feng Fei challenged, all right. Take it that you have my consent. How are you going to deal with the likes of Han Chuang, Zhang Sun Long, Liu Buwei, and Tian Dan? Xiang Xiaolong was about to give his reply when a servant came to report that Han Chuang is here.